Good morning. It's October the 13th. Where am I, you're wondering? <laughs> I'm out on the prairie, not too far from town, and not too far from Saskatchewan Polytechnic, which I was asked to walk around. So I'm going to head that way a little bit later on. I'm actually right out here by the Wascana Country Club, golf club, where I uh, often come to write. Clubhouse is down the road there. And in the wintertime, once the course is closed, which won't be long, I'll probably come and walk on the course one of these days if I can. Oops. As soon as I get the gimbal to decide it wants to pay attention to me, come back where it was. This is a cell phone tower, so hopefully I get really good reception right here. There's a road that goes up that hill over there. I'm going to climb up there, which I've done once before, give you a view of the town from up there. Then I'll come back down. We'll walk all the way down there around the two buildings associated with Saskatchewan Polytechnic and then come back through the prairie. It's a gray day. It's about three degrees. I grab you. And there is uh, rain and snow in the forecast. Uh, it'll be wet snow, probably more like rain. That's supposed to start in a couple of hours, so I wanted to get this in because once this, this gets wet out here, it's just a dirt road and I wouldn't want to be walking on it in the wet. That's actually Saskatchewan Polytechnic right over there. It used to be the Plains Health Center Hospital, uh, but it's now part of the Saskatchewan Polytechnic campus. Actually, now with the crop down, I could probably walk right across the fields to it. This uh, dirt here is where they were laying some uh, cable recently. Yeah, I actually could walk across the fields now. That's a thought. But first we're going to go up the hill over here. That's the University of Regina campus over there. Just across the ring road. You can see the cars going by. I came up here once before. The crop had not been harvested yet. This was a canola field. Now it's just stubble. So when I walk through all those beautiful trees, uh, that's all planted. This is more like what the landscape really is, although that's not a real hill. It's a landfill hill. Oh, this is very uneven. You stay in the rut. Really, though, the landscape is flat and treeless. Still not a natural landscape. The natural prairie landscape would have long grasses on it. And there is a uh, Grasslands National Park in the uh, southwest part of the province that kind of preserves some of the original prairie. That's why it's called Grasslands National Park. I've driven through it. I've never gone to specifically just to see it. Been on the edge of it. I haven't spent any time there to speak of. University of Regina, Moscana Country Club again over there. And we're just going to go up this hill. Hopefully, without me tripping over something. Hi, Kirk in Vancouver. This hill is actually made with the dirt that was dug out of Wascana Lake when they deepened it in 2004, I think that was. This is one of the places where they piled it up. I'm in some farmer's field. I don't know who it belongs to. But obviously people drive through here, so I figure I can walk through here. Does this area have snakes? Garter snakes. There are poisonous snakes in Saskatchewan, but they're in the southwest. There's some rat rattlesnakes over there. You won't see them this time of year. It's too cold. I 
There's some other types, I guess, but garter snakes is the most common thing you'll run into if you're going to see a snake. I haven't seen one in years. Used to see them when I was a kid, though, and we, we lived outside of town in the prairie. <clears throat> I have, of course, walked over there more than once. This is only my second time up this hill. Got my leather jacket, got my gloves, got my hat. <laughs> Might lose the hat later as I keep walking, but right now it feels good. Might have come out a little earlier, but I was watching the Blue Origin flight with William Shatner on board. It's kind of cool. Taking four people up to the edge of space, into space, briefly, and back out again, suborbital flight. So Captain Kirk has now gone to space, for real. What will we see on the other side of this hill? Actually, I know, but you may not. Hear me breathing a little harder as I climb the hill. There we go. That's the top of the hill. The path goes on. I don't know where it goes eventually. But uh, so there's that's First Nations University of Canada over there. University of Regina campus. All of that. Then looking back towards Saskatchewan Polytechnic, former Plains Health Center. And over here, which was at one point the only building for what became Saskatchewan Polytechnic, which was then called SIAST, Saskatchewan Institute of Applied Science and Technology, is over there. And we'll be walking down there momentarily. If we go a little higher here. A lot of this is uh, nature preserve over here for waterfowl along the creek. And of course, this is the same creek that I walk along all the time, which turns into Wascana Lake. Here it flows right by the golf course, offering a water hazard here and there. Give you a 360 here. And there you go. Well, that's pretty much it for up here. Back down we go. Now, I don't know if the fellow who wanted me to walk at Saskatchewan Polytechnic is watching this morning, but I can always catch the replay. I'll make sure it's in the title of the video, so you should see it. Okay, now we go down the road. Again, could just walk straight through the fields today. I don't think there'd be any problem with that since they're stubbled. I'm not trading on somebody's crop. Could walk straight to Saskatchewan Polytechnic over there. Maybe that's what I'll do. and it'll be different than just following this path. Although, it may depend on how rough that land is. Uh, actually looking at it, I don't think I do want to do that because of the unevenness of it. It has, of course, been plowed. 
It does have furrows in it to a certain extent. Let me try a little bit here. Well, it's not impossible. Again, I'd never do this if the crop was in. Okay, well, we'll walk straight towards Saskatchewan Polytechnic then, across the stubble field. You can call me a stubble jumper today. Which is actually the name of a beer that they make it. Bushwhackers, stubble jumper, stumper, stubble jumper pilsner. <clears throat> Do have to watch my feet a little bit. I want to step in a gopher hole. Oh, there's another path. It goes around the hill, it looks like. aiming towards this end of the building, and we'll go around it and then walk back along the other side. Probably a somewhat shorter walk. So I remember from the last time I was out here, it's not that long a walk. Kind of surprised me. Again, the university's right there. This is what I'm walking through. Now, there's some fresh dirt here. This is from some work they were doing out here laying some sort of cable a little earlier on in the summer. And again, if it was wet, I wouldn't want to get anywhere near that because it would be thick mud, but I think it's dry enough. It shouldn't be a problem to cross it. I don't see any fences, so that's good. Yes, we're well into fall now. There's still green grass around, but this isn't grass, it's canola. So it's stubble that's been harvested just a few weeks ago. So it turned color well before the grass does, as it got ripe. So here, I'm sure this must be where they were laying cable. That is. Looks like there used to be a building here, maybe, or something. Let's see. Oh, it's a manhole cover. <laughs> I guess it provides access to the sewers around here. It's kind of funny to see it out here in the middle of nowhere. <clears throat> This would be a really hard slog if this was snow covered too, as it will be in a couple of months. Walking in snow 
if it's deep enough to grab your feet, is very tiring. Good morning. Ah, there you go, have a check. I'm fine, and yes, this is Saskatchewan Polytechnic right in front of us. Walking through the stubble of this canola field. And we'll walk around the building. There's two buildings. This one used to be Plains Health Center. In fact, my, my father, I think he had his bypass surgery here in the 80s when he had heart bypass surgery. It was still a hospital. But they consolidated into two hospitals for the city. And this one became Saskatchewan Polytechnic, much to the annoyance of rural people, because this was kind of the one that rural people came to as a hospital. Because it's had such easy access on the edge of town here. But you know, governments do things, and sometimes you wonder why. Well, all the time you wonder why, actually. So this is the back side of the building. We'll come around this corner here, go over this little hill. Which is more grass than what we're walking through now. And hopefully a little less uneven. Ah, uh, yeah, that's better. It's not that it's not uneven, but it hasn't been plowed, so it's not furrowed. Still have to watch out for gopher holes, though. There, I am warm enough now to take off my hat. So that's where we came from, across that field. Not the prettiest day, completely clouded over. And as I said, rain and possibly snow coming this afternoon or later this morning even and overnight. Okay, but we're almost to an actual path, so that'll be nice. A road, but same difference. I'll do what I did last time and maybe uh, step out onto the, or get over close to the ring road and then come back to the main building here. Gonna have to stop and tie my shoe though, which is really uh, annoying. Take care in service vehicles, it says. There's no good way to do that. So uh, let's see what I can do. Can I prop it up? Maybe. Well enough so it'll stay upright while I tie my shoe. No, that won't work. It'll fall over for sure. Well, maybe not. Okay. It's leaning up against a lamp post or a sign post. Oh, and there it goes. <laughs> now it's looking at the sky. Well, have a look at the sky there for a minute till I get my shoe tied here. I might be in there too. I don't know if I am. Hello. Get 
my gloves back on. Ooh, wasn't that exciting? Now, I think the thing decided it was, wasn't going to stay. So it's going to flip this way. There we go. Wasn't that fun? Can't walk with my shoe on tight. I think the stubble got to it. Ah, you're coming here to Saskatchewan Polytechnic, January 22nd. Oh, great time to be in Saskatchewan. Best time of all. <laughs> it just depends on the individual tree and the species, how quickly they drop their leaves. This thing looks really a bit out of kilter now, but maybe it'll figure itself out. Not much I can do to fix that. I think we're still mowing grass or something, which... Yes, everything is very leaning to the left now. I'm going to just to try that again. Just hold on a second. It's going to flip. Turn it on. Uh, we'll get it to go up. Maybe that's a little better. Please do not adjust your sets. Um, I'll walk up this little path by the mower, it looks like. Is that a little more level? Maybe a bit. We'll just walk up there to the corner of the ring road and uh, then come back down. Yeah, it's still pretty out of kilter, isn't it? Huh. I wonder if I can... Look at out of focus, too. I'll put that on. It's very out of focus. There we go. Okay. Doing all right. Technical difficulties. <laughs> They're bailing. Oh, it's maybe chopping up trees. I don't know what they're doing there. <clears throat> it's like mulching. Yes, I think it got out of focus when I put it down, maybe probably. And I just had to touch the screen so it knew where I wanted to focus. That's why it's always awkward tying my shoe in the middle of one of these because there's never a good way to put it down. I should have turned turned off the gimbal, I guess. And... How's living in Regina, Marie? It's good. I like it. Been here a long time. Moved here in 88 from Weyburn. Moved here ever since. So this is the bridge that takes you over the ring road. I won't I don't think I'll bother crossing over there, but uh, if I did, 
you can cross that bit of a bridge over there and walk on over to the university and all that. Buses do come right out here. Um, to Saskatchewan Polytechnic. So, you can see the ring road there with the cars on it. And the University of Regina is right there. And we've been walking over on this side. And there's Saskatchewan Polytechnic, which we will now walk back to along the same path. And we'll go around the building. A few of these trees still have some color to them. Those are actually, those look like evergreens. They're not very green. But it's a pretty approach to the building then when you come from this direction. The winding path and the building through the trees there. you know it seems odd to me those trees are that color so they must be a species I'm not familiar with they're certainly not the spruce and they have uh, little pine cones on them getting close there you go lovely little pine cones Probably have to refocus it again after that. I don't know what the sound's doing either. I have to put the, put the mic on the zipper on my coat. And there may be a bit more noise of it banging into things. I don't know. I'll listen later and find out. Okay, now we'll go up straight to the building and around the front of it. Big piles of mulch. And yes, this is a bicycle path. You can ride your bicycle all the way out here along a path, pretty much the whole way. So it goes back across the bridge that I was just pointing at. You could ride your bike and come along here. Although in January, I wouldn't want to do it. Although you do see people out riding their bikes in the middle of winter. As long as you dress for it. I mean, I plan to walk in the middle of winter, so as long as you dress for it. Parking, it's got tons of parking for having been a hospital. It's got more parking than the active hospitals do. And these trees have just kind of turned silver. The leaves are, have curled up and showing their undersides more, I think is what that is. We'll take us right up around the very front entrance. <clears throat> Which is right there. And 
I'd say there's some underground parking, maybe, but that's probably for workers. There's the bike racks. There's the building itself up close. Flags flying. And there's the main entrance. Morning. And there's the sign. So when you get here in January, you'll know you're in the right place. Now we'll continue on to the other building. The one I always think of as SIAST. Saskatchewan Institute of Applied Science and Technology, which became Saskatchewan Polytechnic a few years ago. Changed names. Just pay attention while I go down the steps. So this doesn't turn into Faceplant Live as opposed to Facebook Live. Okay. Over here, they do uh, one of the things they teach is auto mechanics. Stuff like that, so it's kind of over in this area. And it's just, as I said, boy, there's a lot of parking. I think it may be pay again. It was free when I was out here during the summer. And I parked, but one reason I didn't park in one of these lots is because I think I think the pay machines are working again. So over here, see there's a wrecked car. They do body mechanics, body work and auto mechanics and that kind of thing. Teach it, I mean. Now we'll go down there and pick up the other path on out to the other building. And then back to the car through some more prairie. So here's this end of it. I was going to walk right down by it, but there's too many people out there smoking, it looks like, <laughs> taking a break. I don't know if they're smoking or not, but I suspect some of them are. This is blocked off to cars. It was a drive at one point, but now it's not. So again, here's this end of the building. We'll leave that behind and carry on to the other building. Sorry, it's such a gray day. A lot prettier on a bright, sunshiny fall day, but alas, I cannot control the weather. If I could, who would be rich? And probably not doing this. I'd be too busy making it rain or snow or whatever, or stopping it from doing those things. Okay, this little path now will take us to the other SIAST, uh, Saskatchewan Polytechnic building. Kind of the original one.
And it's like a bit of a park area. Like you can see, you can come over here and sit if you wish. It's nicely landscaped along here. Lots of parking again. Again, that's the University of Regina peeking up over there. Let's see, bus service. So if you live somewhere in town, you don't have a car, you can take a bus out here. Uh, we're at the kind of the peak of uh, our current wave, so lots of uh, new cases in the last little while, and as many uh, hospitalizations as we've had for the entire epidemic, uh, mostly people who are still unvaccinated. So yeah, it'll probably start to decline soon, based on what's happened everywhere else. Uh, we have mask mandate, but it's really the only restriction. Oh, and vaccine passports. You have to show that you're vaccinated to go into uh, various things. So we have a, an app that you can show that has your vaccination record on it. Not making any comment on how I feel about that. From which you can probably tell I'm not too thrilled with the whole idea of vaccine passports, but anyway, I do what I must. I think so. I don't know for sure what they're doing right now. My daughter's at University of Toronto and they're doing a mix of in-person and online classes. I would say from the number of cars around that there's in-person classes happening because otherwise there wouldn't be cars in the parking lot like there were. It's probably, it could be a mix, but again, I don't know. For Saskatchewan Polytechnic, some of that stuff has to be hands-on, like the auto book mechanic work and things like that. So I have to look on their websites to find out. So here's the front of this rather interesting building, architecturally speaking. I've been in here a couple of times to do things, not to take classes, but I, what was I doing? I taught a class, I think, or talked to a class, maybe. Anyway, there you go. That's the main entrance of this building. A certain amount of that brutalist architecture thing going on here where it's made out of concrete. Uh, now, our car is way off in the distance. Our car, my car. So I think this time I'll walk along the edge of the road, sit it through the stubble again. Besides, if I go up this way, I can turn around and get a better look at the building. So there's the front of the, there's the front of the building. See, kind of interesting to look at. Thanks for that. Now I can cut over anywhere here, uh, so I might as well. Walk through the grass again. So it's quite green. The grass is still quite green. We haven't had enough uh, frosty days yet. Only one real frost. It's supposed to frost again tonight. So my car is the white one, way over there. That's where we're headed. These buildings up ahead, 
used to be a provincial laboratory of some kind, like a veterinary laboratory, I think. I think that's what it was. It's not that anymore. It's closed, although I noticed the gate was open this morning, which is unusual. I won't walk in there, though. I don't really think that's an invitation for just anybody to wander in. It's provincial government property, I'm pretty sure. So this is the looking back again. Kind of see the whole thing now. Like I said, I've been in it. I don't remember much about the interior and it's probably been redone since I was in it. That was a long time ago. my feet still pretty rough when we were in St. John's and we hiked a little bit of the East Coast Trail from Cape Spear back over toward Petty Harbor we were up and over this ridge it was raining sideways rocks everywhere I have some pictures of the scenery but mostly I watched my feet <laughs> that entire five kilometer hike or whatever it was they said five kilometers it felt longer because of the climbing and the slippery rocks Oh, this is quite rough. Oop, I hear geese. Oh, over there. Oh, I don't know if those are... Oh, look at them. Are they coming over? I think they are. They're going to come right over my head here. See, they're over there. And up here. There's more of them. Well, that was cool. They're clearly getting serious about uh, migrating now that it's getting colder. <laughs> that was cool. See, I spare no expense to make these walks interesting. Laid on a whole flock of geese just for you. Tough negotiations with their agent too. They're in great demand this time of year. I'm getting out of this ditch. <laughs> I think it'd be easier to walk up here where it's a little flatter. Ah, better up here. And there's the car, so that's our destination. And there's a gopher hole, see? This is why I have to watch where I step. Step in that, you could break an ankle. And horses have broken legs and go for holes. If I break my leg, you'll just have to shoot me. Well, there's a sign over there. I wonder if they're doing something else with it now. Ah, well, and I gotta walk over and look. can't not look. I've driven by it multiple times and haven't noticed what the sign says now, so 
Let's find out. I see the gates closed again. It was open when I drove by this morning. Once I'm up here, I'll probably just stick on the road for the rest of the walk. Quite deserted looking. Oh, okay. It says it now belongs to the George Gordon First Nation. Interesting. I wonder what uh, wonder what plans they have for it, if any, or what they're using it for right now. It does have an address, 5000 Wascata Parkway, and somebody missed the yield sign, or rather they didn't miss the yield sign. Someone else has parked over there. People like to come out here with their dogs, let them run around. So up here is the, you turn right and it takes you down to the clubhouse for the golf club, where I like to write sometimes, but they're shutting down for the season. They're not open in the mornings when I like to write, so. Really not that bad out there. <laughs> Just a little rough. Hmm. This always interests me when you see things like that. Like, where's the other one? How did the person not notice they dropped it? Were they on foot? Did somebody throw it out their car window? What? There again is the golf course. I think golfing ends this weekend, I think, when they're shutting it down. Food and beverage service, I think they plan to continue all winter. And there are special events out here, but golfing is about to end. said somebody else is parked out here I don't see anybody a little bit more of the golf course there and the university and again there's both buildings of SIAS of uh, South Polytechnic now in one shot it seems like a good place to stop. So that'll do it for today. It's actually, again, shorter than I would have thought. Um, there's the road down to the golf club. So thanks for walking with me out by Saskatchewan Polytechnic. And I'll be back maybe tomorrow. It's supposed to be raining, so I don't know how that's going to work, but hopefully I'll be back tomorrow. Bye for now.